everyone, today I would like to show you how to tune your Intel Skylake CPU for lower voltage, which is called professionally under voltage. So first of all, if you have a laptop with the Skylake i7-6700HQ, you can easily undervolt it to preserve a lower temperature of your CPU and as a result a lower temperature of your whole of your whole laptop package. The problem in today modern gaming laptops is that they tend to get very warm and overheat easily while you're playing advanced games. So to preserve a lower vo voltage and lower heat as results we will use the tool called Extreme Toning Utility from Intel. That's an official tool. Keep in mind that you might lose your warranty as a result of using any modification tools for your CPU. So if your computer is under warranty and you don't want to risk losing that, you might don't want to use it. But regardless, uh, from my personal testing and testings of many other people, uh, the results of undervolting your CPU will usually will not risk your hardware by any way. The only problem you might experience is instability. And if you experience any instability, what you normally want to do is basically decrease back your voltage and find the better value which will be stable in your case. Um, the stability with undervolting can be varied between different CPU models and different revisions. So even if I have the same CPU like you have, i7-6700HQ, yours might experience different instability issues at the same voltage level I use and I experience complete stability. So to explore and explain to you how to do the undervolting, uh, let's begin. First of all, you're going to Google and search XDU. The first thing you will see is the download link of the Extreme Toning Utility. You will proceed and download the tool. After installation, you will have the icon, the logo shortcut of the tool on your desktop. The next thing you will do is basically view the software, you view the extreme utility. What you have to go where is basically add advanced timing, click on the core. In my case, what I'm using is minus 140, so I will do it like that. And I will click apply. In my case, I don't have to click apply because that's the value I already use. So after you click apply, you will go to stress test. Normally, you want to go and test at least two hours for your CPU in order to make sure that your CPU handles the new voltage successfully. If during those two hours of stress test, your computer will crash, for example, paramount freeze or reboot itself, it means that for your CPU, that particular undervolt, under voltage of 140 is too much. So you will do the next thing. You will go up by 5, 10, 20, and etc. etc. Ideally, what you want to do is basically start from the lower. For example, minus 0075. You will go and, and run a test of, let's say, one or two hours stress test. If you see it's completely stable, go to 100. It, run a test for one or two hours. Preferably, it's two hours to make sure you are indeed in a stable conditions. If it's stable, go and run another 10. 110 and that's how you do it until I believe uh, 140 in my case is ideal 
uh, some people successfully managed to run 180. I cannot promise you that seems extreme to me. I don't believe in most cases it might not be so stable at 180, even all. So by going step by step from the lower to the higher, you will understand which value is more stable for your particular CPU revision. In my case, uh, after doing this mode and going by minus 140, my temperature in gaming went down from 95C to about 75, maximum 84C, which is a tremendous improvement in temperature terms because that means my CPU is more healthy, the battery keeps work longer on every charge, and of course, the CPU will not throttle itself because of overheat. The common problem among the mobile Intel CPUs, and not just Intel, AMD as well, when it goes and reach a certain overheat zone, for, for instance 90 and above, it will start to throttle itself. It will slow down drastically in order to cool itself, which means your experience in whatever you do, for example gaming, you will feel a certain drop in, in uh, your FPS and you might even feel certain freeze during that throttling drop. So by undervolting, we maintain a healthier environment for your computer because the computer becomes cooler. We maintain a healthier environment for your CPU. We prolong the battery life and we basically improve the performance because we avoid throttling from happening. Hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching and sorry for my let's say exciting English because it's one of the first videos I am running here for you. I will promise to improve next. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.